Hi there, this is a video about the overhand knot. It's actually the base for lots of other knots, as you'll see in this video, and also the cobra weave, which is what you use for making your paracord goodies with. As well as being that useful stopper knot, here's just a few of the other knots that it actually forms the base of that are quite easy to tie. First off, the basic overhand found in a million cables across the world. The running overhand loop. Slipped overhand. An overhand loop. Double overhand. Fisherman's knot. A basic sling. Overhand bend. Bowling on the bite. The butterfly bend. Swiss arrow launcher. It's added security on another knot. You've got two here with a reef knot. The hunter's bend. The zeppelin bend. A double fisherman's knot. And finally in this colourful sequence, this is a stop loop. It's a very simple loop, but it shows the overhand knot being used as a stopper knot, which I mentioned earlier. And now a quick word on the cobra weave, which is used for things like paracord bracelets. And here's a piece of paracord object dar that I've just made for this video. And to keep it in theme, this is an overhand loop that I've woven it round. Here it is in a bit more close up, looking suspiciously like a little larvae with its antenna there. Now this is the cobra weave, and when I was involved in scouting, I used to teach cubs how to make paracord bracelets, and they found the knot quite hard. And looking at it, it does look quite complicated, but actually, all it is, is an overhand knot tied many times from both sides. And it makes sense, because obviously a stopper knot is a, is a knot that tries to get as much material in one place to become a stopping knot. So if you can gather lots and lots of material in one place, it's the ideal knot to actually use. It's genius, whoever thought of it.